Hello my dazzling beauties, welcome back to Pink Pretty and Sparkling. How are you doing today? So today's video is a tutorial look on what I'm wearing right now. And today I use the Jaglin Hill palette. One of my favorite palettes. I already used it a lot, it's just that, you know, I never really gave myself the... Well, I never told myself, you know, you need to do a tutorial with this one. But yeah, today we use this palette. We use... Gosh, we use the greens, we use this kind of like purplish, we use these two and this one. Um, what else? These two right here. So yeah, we, we used several shadows from this palette and I came up with this. Oh yeah, and obviously it can, and I also used this one which is Queen, is a true gold one right here. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I did my makeup. I went and had a dinner date with my husband. Today was our last dinner date uh, of the year 2017. Just because, you know, Christmas is coming and the New Year's and, you know, it's going to get crazy. So we just decided to go ahead and have a last dinner of the year. And so I went and back. And let me tell you, I got a lot of compliments on this eye look, so I really hope you guys like it. Um, I don't know, I feel like the camera might not make it justice, but either way, it looks pretty nice. Let me tell you, I had no idea what to wear with this. I mean, just a white shirt like this one. I have a black skirt. You know, it did it. It looked nice. But yeah, I mean, I don't have time to curl my hair, but if you curl your hair, that's going to make it look even 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 more awesome but anyways um if you guys are interested in seeing how to achieve this look then just keep on watching okay my dazzling videos we're gonna go ahead and start with our holiday makeup tutorial um looks a little crazy but that's because you know we don't have anything on so when we're done, I'm sure it's gonna look pretty. Plus, I mean, it's just something really out of the ordinary, okay? So anyways, with a fluffy brush, I have this Anastasia brush that comes in like the palettes. And excuse my red fingers, I just ate some um, hot funions. Um, okay, we're gonna go into the shade Silk Creme, which is this one right here, on the Jaclyn Hill palette. And we're gonna put that one on our on top of our crease. It's gonna be like our transition shade. Honestly, I did so many combinations that I don't even know exactly what I did at the end. But we'll just try to recreate as best as we can. Anyway, so we're gonna start applying everything right here. same fluffy brush I'm gonna go ahead and get the one that is right below this one which is this one right here what's called pooter something like that yeah pooter right here okay and we're gonna put it right below the first shade okay okay now I'm gonna go ahead and grab and beauty from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Okay, and again, right here. Okay, so now with the M433 by Morphe, I'm gonna go ahead and grab Buns, which is this shade right here. Right there, buns. And I'm gonna flip the brush, kind of like hard up, and then I'm gonna put it like this. When you have 
something like this. I have this Laura Mercier um, eyeshadow stick. The shade is rose gold. Um, it's just very light, you know, it just creams. Uh, it's a cream eyeshadow. That, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it as a base so the other uh, shadows will stick to it and it's only gonna go on my lid okay so I like to just kind of grab it that way I can go ahead and put it right where I want it so now have a brush from the Naked Palettes and I'm gonna use this petal like one okay so I'm gonna use this side and now I'm gonna go in with the shade uh, Queens which is this one right here Queens I'm gonna go ahead and grab it with my brush and I'm gonna put it on the inner corner right here now with this brush I'm gonna go in with the shade Diva or as my niece would say Diva oh she's so cute okay and I'm gonna put it right next to the gold one okay like so Now with this little Lexi brush to seven, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Enchanted. I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Enchanted right here. Okay. Now I'm gonna put it on the outer corner right here. But I'm also gonna overlap it with this diva shade. Then I have the full size of that same brush, the 207, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Chip, which is this one right here. Yeah. It's like brown with a purple undertone right here. Okay. And I'm also gonna put it on the outer corner, but I'm kinda gonna wrap it like this. Like the outer outer part. Now back to the M433, this one, I'm going to go back to buns, yeah, buns, back to buns right here, and on the crease. go back in and reapply um, colors that you want to intensify you know because with the blending usually you lose pigment this is what I'm doing right now just go back in and intensify so with your pigments okay I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my file out. my hourglass bill primer I already applied it to all my face but now I'm just gonna reapply on this area where I use my little towel just to make sure that I remove much of my primer
I'm gonna go ahead and zoom me out for the face, okay? Okay, for foundation, I'm also gonna use my Hourglass uh, Stick Foundation. I love this one. This is in the shade Buff. This is my winter shade. I forgot to get my my erase paste from Benefit. You guys, I'm not very used to like doing my eyes first and then the rest of my makeup, so I know that I have to be very, very, very careful. I'm gonna go ahead and blend my foundation with this Lexi brush uh, number 530 and it's a flat top kabuki as you can see and I'm just gonna go ahead and buff that foundation into my skin. I still don't know what I'm gonna wear with this eye look to be honest. Um, look, I don't think I have anything green that I could put on. Don't forget to drag the foundation over to your neck, okay? Real careful with the eye look if you do this before. This foundation has really good coverage. I mean, I really like the coverage that it has. You don't really, you don't really need a lot unless you know you really want to cover your know, like your blemishes and things like that. Quick question: Ever since I came back from Florida, I have some um, like what's it called like a lot of texture like bumps and I have no idea I mean trying to get rid of it but I just haven't had any luck if any of you know how to get rid of them please let me know I mean I've exfoliated washed my face everything and I really don't know how to get rid of them Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm gonna use my Kabuki brush again. This is a angle Kabuki brush. I'm just gonna pat it in. shade and light blend this out really nice so it won't crease and then I'm gonna pick up my beauty blender and grab the lightest powder here which is the first one right here with my beauty blender and just apply it okay so now with my Laura Mercier powder puff I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and I'm using the Born This Way Ethereal Powder. Okay. And don't forget to set your neck where you drag your foundation down here. Okay, so you see my shade and light, I'm gonna go ahead and contour. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of this one and this one. And I'm using the Morphe R14. And I'm gonna change brushes. And I'm gonna grab the R7 fluffier brush, just with the middle shade. I'm gonna bronze. For blush, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Trio. It looks like this. This one is in the shade Very Adore. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this orangey one, the top one, and see how it looks. highlight 
I'm gonna go with my glow kit, sugar kit. And I think since we have gold, I'm gonna go ahead and go with butterscotch. Have this Lexi brush precision foundation. It's a 660. Um, so it's for foundation, but I use it for highlight. You know what? I'm gonna use Starbust. Mejor. I think I like Starbust better. Better. I haven't tried it on my cheeks yet. So far, I've used marshmallow and butterscotch, but let's go ahead and try Stardust. Okay. Okay. So there's that. ahead and finish the eyes I need to go ahead and grab chip this one right here first with the angle brush that we had and I want to go ahead and add it slightly to my outer corner because when I use my where do I use the um, concealer kind of mess it up a little bit so and this is actually the shadow that we're going to use under as well. You see? Okay, now with the smudge brush, we're going to go ahead and grab the same one as well. Okay. We're going to smudge the lower lash line. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and my lashes and then I'll be right back okay my dolls and beauties I'm back so for lipstick I have this new the balm cosmetics meet matte hues in the shade committed I remember getting this one as a sample in my ipsy bag it was like one of my first ones and it actually is the first sample of a lipstick that I actually finished so I went ahead and bought the full size and you know this one's pretty like nude enough so we're gonna go ahead and put on this one and I love that it's like a minty slash vanilla smell and this is the final look what do you guys think? For the lashes, I use uh, Samantha number no. 7 from Huda Beauty. Um, like I said, the lipstick is committed in the balm. Mascara is my good Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. And um, yeah, this is how it looks at the end. Just the white shirt. So if you guys like this, make a look. Um, don't forget to put like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much and have a Merry Christmas. Goodbye.